And the reason why we say adaptive is because it is constantly adapting itself. What your learning experience is, it is just for you. It is meant to recreate the personalized guidance of a one-on-one -on -one tutor, reacting to both your knowledge levels, but also your confidence levels. Do you think you know it or not? I'm finding this branch. I, I'm comfortable with branching, with instructional design, creating e learning branches. Yeah. And, uh, but when I create something with branches, I don't actually capture the data. I don't know what branches most people are doing until they just kind of drop to the end and then there's some feedback. Or, but what I'm s sensing is with ADAPT, when we use technology platforms like adaptive learning platforms or cohort programs that are using technology, we're capturing and we're getting a lot more breadcrumbs of the learning experience that is just being collected in the system to do its thing. But those breadcrumbs are something that we can mine later. That's a, I think your example of branching is helpful because most e-learning or most learning, we don't really know what we were not able to get a lot of data to drive the learning to be more personalized unless uh -huh. you use these more sophisticated approaches. So yeah, it's like, it's a different, it's a mindset shift. And I'm curious now, like what have you guys found if you've tried to explain adaptive learning to other people? What are some other misconceptions that people have about what it is and what it isn't? And I like the the two things, Judy, I like the progression and how you were talking about it and Rich added a little bit on it. We've been talking about personalization or adapting the learning path for years, even through a variety of, of technologies or techniques. You can optimize the role mapping in an LMS. That actually is the lowest, most rudimentary through optimizing that. I can get to a path that's more for me than it is for other people. You can do it through content routers by either through a pretest and said, hey, you've test it out of this, take this content, or I can say, this is what I want to learn about in a router. But all those are, are slightly a different class than I, what I really think that adaptive learning, which is basing on not only what it knows about me, but what it knows about people like me and how it begins to shift and change mm. based upon that those data endpoints. And the more it collects about me, the more it changes. And I think that's the big thing is that algorithm-driven adaption learning versus more of the human-driven side that we see in some other areas. I'm thinking about some other kind of use cases for this right? We've mm -hmm. identified compliance training, but I think some of the things that you've said that are really standing out to me is sort of along the lines of when we really need to have like a deep knowledge of something, right? Like we really need to know where my mind immediately goes when you started talking about the math was like technical field. Mm -hmm. And in particular, when we think about being able to upskill our technical folks in emerging areas, for example, or maybe we have a um, desire to kind of cultivate talent within our organization right? And so we want to be able to take more junior folks and, and grow them into more senior folks. And maybe we want to do that a little bit more quickly because we know that we have sort of a, a shortage in, in more senior folks at the organization and it's too expensive to find them externally. So like, let's develop them internally. You, because mm. we have an LMS that we are locked into, but we right. can like articulate and things in. So that was kind of my question. Is this a whole platform where you have the new LMS or could this be purchased, used and integrate, you know, integrated into our LMS so that we could use it with what we, we have to work within the constraints of what the company has already said, this is what our LMS is and we're not changing, but that doesn't mean we can't do other things like score files and things into the LMS. So that's, that was my question. Bingo. Now I can't speak to every adaptive learning platform, but that is an expectation that you should have that, you know, and City is a really good example of that. City wants to integrate all three of these things, their adaptive learning, where they, they, they actually plan to put 40% of their content on adaptive learning. It's still going to sort of the LMS will always be the system of record and agreed will always be the content discovery and the personalized learning path approach to it. But their ecosystem includes all three.